Head football coach Rob Tenure joining us now on MSUEagles.com. The defense with a 47-23 win over the offense today at the annual spring game. And Rob, I know an exciting day, the end of spring practice. Got, got to see a lot of uh, former football players here in a good crowd at Jane Stadium. Yeah, it was great. We had the uh, first annual flag football game for our alumni. We had a great turnout. and. We had to cut it a little short. Those guys got tired pretty quick, but they had a great time, and it's always great to have them guys back, uh, and it's great to have their support. I'm glad they're excited about more head State football, and uh, what a turnout. This is all family, friends, and incoming recruits, and, and our new family members, and, and uh, so we're excited about the day. It was a great day. Let's start on the defensive side of the ball and give us a couple areas that you were pleased with today. Well, I just think execution. You know, I think they, number one, they kept the ball in front of them. They didn't uh, uh, allow any deep plays. And and, uh, and then I felt like they defended the run really well today, Matt. They did a nice job on our zone game. And, um, and guys were flying around having fun, making plays. Offensively, you used three or four different quarterbacks. Bylaw Williamson got some reps. And then Reese McShara, who's a proven... Um, veteran at this level uh, and then several different receivers in the mix as well so hit a couple highlights on the offense if you would. Well I think the thing that sticks out to me is is we're really talented and we know we're going to score points um, and I believe we have a little more depth uh, on the offensive side of the ball so um, I, I know just because of what we do we're going to be good but we've got to be more consistent and uh, we got to make plays from our, we got to get good plays and big plays from our playmakers. When Reese touches it and Brandon Bornhauser and Cyrus Strom and those guys that we're counting on, um, you know, those are the guys that got to score points for us. Special teams is a big factor in the game of football, too. Just assess that area for us, if you would. Well, we incorporated a little bit today. We did live kickoff. We worked some punt and punt return today, and we got a lot of work with PATs and field goals. So uh, we wanted to put an emphasis on that in the springtime, uh, which sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But we felt like we wanted to try some new schematics uh, in the kicking game, and, and uh, I'm real pleased of our progress and excited about where we're at heading into uh, preseason camp. I know throughout the spring you've had a couple guys banged up, some injuries that are significant, but just kind of tell us where you feel the team is overall from a health standpoint right now. Well, we're a little banged up. You know, we, we uh, of course, you know, our, our, our top receiver, Katara Lewis, he was out with an Achilles, and he'll be back for the season. And, and uh, another receiver was out with an injury as well. We had a... Uh, uh, Rob Lewis, our defensive tackle, was out with uh, with a knee issue today. Uh, no structural damage, so we're excited that that was good news, and he'll be back for us. And uh, just kind of some some nicks and knacks, and we'll get it get it fixed up before we start summer conditioning. You were telling reporters here just kind of the schedule for the team as they head towards the end of the semester and, and uh, into finals. If you could expand on that a little bit. Well, we want to perform well in, in finals, that's for sure. We want to do well academically, and then uh, give them a couple weeks off, and then we'll start our summer conditioning. We'll have uh, close to 70 athletes here during the summer months, and uh, I'm extremely excited about that, to have them here working out with our strength uh, and conditioning group and uh, and also be able to meet with them a little bit and have some uh, uh, some video time and some meeting time with them uh, this summer as well. I know you're very energized as you head into your second year as head coach here at Moorhead State. If you had a message to the fans at this point, what would it be? Well, just continue to tell the story. You know, there's a lot of folks that have been back. There's a lot of former players and alumni, and they're excited about what's going on. And uh, we're re working extremely hard to, to uh, uh, develop a consistent championship product, and that's what we want to be. We want to be a consistent winner in the Pioneer Football League. And uh, there's a lot of great things ahead. And uh, stay on board, uh, continue to support us, and, and uh, come on out and support us in Jane Stadium this fall. It's going to be a great year. That's the head football coach in Moorhead State. Rob Tenure, thanks for your time today, Rob. We appreciate it. Thank you, Matt.